Hi there and welcome to this video review of the Feelworld Live Pro L1 multi-format video mixer. Now Feelworld were kind enough to send me a unit for the purposes of this review, but they're not paying me in any way and the thoughts and opinions expressed are entirely my own. Now with that being said, I've had the unit for a few days now, I've put it through its paces, I've tried it out in lots of different streaming scenarios and overall I've really had a lot of fun using this, it's a really functional bit of kit. And in this video today, I'm just gonna go over the features that the unit has, and hopefully give you enough information to decide whether or not a unit like this is right for your streaming needs. Now, as the name LiPro L1 suggests, this is a multi-format video mixer that allows you to take in up to four HDMI sources into the box. It connects via USB-C to a laptop or desktop computer, and the laptop or desktop computer then sees this as a single source. Now on the surface that might sound quite complicated, but what this really does is really simplify the process. And effectively, it's just plug and play. You connect all your sources in, and then as soon as you connect that to your computer, your computer will see that as a single source, and all of those feeds going in are handled by the box and fed to your computer, and you can mix live on the go using the unit. So if we just go ahead and have a look at the setup that I'm running here, I actually have three cameras going into the Live Pro L1, as well as a feed from the laptop here, which is just sending the desktop to the box. And you can see here, this is my main A cam, which I'm talking to. And if I go ahead and queue up my second angle and then just transition over into that, there's my second angle there. And then if we go back to the wide shot, You'll also see that I have a camera here over the shoulder, which is actually filming the unit. So if we go ahead and have a look at that. And you can see here is the, the desk setup. What I actually have is a small monitor, which is plugged into the output of this device. And that allows me to see all of the four feeds going into the box, as well as a preview window and the program monitor. So if I was live streaming at the moment, this one here on the right would be what would be going out to the web and what the viewer would be seeing. And then I can then control the broadcast by seeing whatever feed that I have at the time. And the way I have it set at the moment is that this window here is the preview. So this is the next shot that will come up. So if I move the transition bar, you will see, we'll go back into the wide shot. So let's just jump back onto the desk and I can change what's ever in the preview window. So if I wanted to change to say to the close up, that would be the next shot that we would bring in and I can bring that one in. And if we go back to the desk again, you can just see that the functionality and the ease of use by having the monitor here, seeing all your feeds is really great. And then we can just control everything by the panel here. You'll notice that actually on the panel itself, we do have a little preview window and that shows the, the four feeds. I like using it with an extra monitor as well. Five inch monitor like this is just big enough to see all of, our, all of my sources, my preview and my live feed. On the unit itself, there are some other functions built in. So I'm using the what's called the T-bar, the transition bar at the moment. So you can see now if I change and go back to the wide shot, that is done by changing that bar, by moving that bar left to right. What you also have the option of doing is just using the buttons and you do that by just changing within the menu system and it's operated on this wheel. Once you've turned the transition bar off, you'll notice that if I change this, it's not doing anything. And then all I'm doing then is just pressing the button and we can switch between feeds that way. The unit has a number of effects. So the transitions between the different feeds, you can add in a number of effects. I tend to keep it very simple. I don't like jazzy effects like white. So it's just a very short fade or dissolve between the different shots and you can change the duration of that as well. Once again, by going into the menu system, the time is set. I have it set at the fastest, which is 0.5 seconds. You can change that all the way up to five seconds if you want really long drawn out dissolves, but I think the default of 0.5 seconds is pretty good. 
The other functionality built into the unit which may be of use for some people is the picture in picture mode. So when using the picture in picture mode, what you firstly wanna do is select what your main feed is. So for example, if I was doing a bit of a tech demonstration, I wanted to talk through this uh, web page, I would select that. And then I'm gonna go ahead and select the position that I want my secondary video to be. So in this case, we'll go with the bottom left-hand corner and then I will change that as my wide shot there. So I could be talking about this web page here and you can still, the viewer can still see you there. Uh, so for gaming and live streaming that way where you want uh, the, your, yourself within the shot as well as what you're, the game that you're playing within the feed, that's a useful option. So you can see the functionality is pretty good. The ease of use is really good. There is a bit of a learning curve with it, so you are gonna to wanna to spend half an hour, an hour playing with the buttons, learning how the menu systems work, learning how you change options, especially if you're gonna then do a live broadcast, you don't wanna be learning that on the fly. You wanna be making sure that that's pretty much second nature. So when you are streaming, if you're in charge of the video feed, that you can just change those options nice and quickly. In terms of the actual unit itself, it's well built. It has a nice sort of brushed aluminium feel to it. And speaking to Feel World, they did say that they have updated the version that they sell at the moment from their first release. They've added in some extra vent ports around the side just to improve airflow to keep the unit a little bit cooler. It does get fairly warm. It's not hot to touch. I was running it for six or seven hours yesterday and I had no problems with it overheating, but that is just something to kind of be aware of. Make sure that you've got good airflow around the unit, depends the type of environment that you're using it in, but it does get a little bit warm, but they do seem to have addressed that with that extra added airflow around the side of the unit. One of the things I really like about the unit is how it handles different formats and different resolutions. So it will pretty much convert anything to a 1080p stream. So I've got multiple cameras here running at 4K and they all go in. I don't need to change anything on the camera. The box deals with it and it sends out a 1080p stream. You are limited to 1080p, there's no 4K streaming in this, but obviously the price point that it's aimed at, that's pretty much what you're looking at. The other really important thing I think with streaming is the audio side and how boxes like this handle audio. Now, if we go back to the unit here, you can see if we jump into the menu system, what we have here is the ability to select which input the audio is coming from. So I have it set to input two at the moment. That is the camera that I have my radio mics connected to. And it will, regardless of what the video source is, it will stay on input two. So as I change around to different shots, it doesn't matter. The audio is always coming from that same input. So the fact that you can choose your audio stream separate from your camera stream is really good. Generally, if you're a single presenter, this is probably gonna be pretty much all you need. Where you might run into a few limitations is if you're trying to have multiple audio sources and you're trying to mix them on the fly. You won't be able to do that with this box. You may need a separate audio desk for that, but that's just something to be aware of. So overall, I've been really impressed with the Feel World Live Pro L1. I think what it does, it does really well. It's very easy to use, very user friendly, and I think live streaming has come a long way. I was involved with it a few years back and it was pretty complicated to be honest. There's a steep learning curve and I think what this type of box does is really remove that barrier. The fact that you can just connect up your HDMI sources into this box, connect it to a computer by USB, and then your computer will see that as a single source, makes things super easy. I definitely like using it with the additional monitor and the fact that I can then just have a preview monitor with this bit of kit just makes it even more powerful and even easier to use as well. So hopefully that video has been useful. If you do have any questions or comments about the Feel World Live Pro L1, drop them below. I'll do my very best to get back to you and answer them. Thanks very much for watching and I'll see you next time.